ladies and gentlemen from North Las Vegas, back to Eden Garden, or back to Eden Garden. There's a lot of content out there with back to Eden, so I'm not uh, worried about that. Because what you do want, if you don't have, is to make your property or the area where you live at, whether it's an apartment, townhouse, somewhere, make your living area an Eden. Something that you can look at that has life growing and will benefit your physical temple, your body, when they mature. And then you want generational seeds to grow. So you want some of your plants to grow the seeds. But right now, I'm going to uh, start putting fertilizer at the base of this tree. It's a little late. I just saw one of our fruit trees starting to bloom, so that means the sap is rising. So here we go. What I'm doing is pulling away all the organic matter away from the base of the tree. I don't know if you can see how rich it is down here. When the soil, the soil is caliche. I can send pictures on my post about what caliche is if you don't live in Nevada, so you know. It's basically a, a salt-based hard rock substance that your plant cannot grow in. Some organic matter, some biological matter, on a micro scale, you need a, what do you call it, um, a mag not a magnifying glass, but a, uh, it's in my head, I can't think about it. Microscope, they keep taking that prevagen from ginkgo. Anyway, so what you see me do, I've just cleared around here, and the drip line, which I didn't know, is the entire circumference of the tree. So let me do a demonstration for you. The drip line, clear this tree this wide. So from the outside all the way down to the ground is your drip line. Now obviously, I'm not going to put fruit and nut tree fertilizer right in the grass. I want it at the base of the tree, so right now that's my best. So as wide as I can make the circumference of this area. There's my little irrigation line right here. So I'll do each of those trees like that and um, hope we get fruit this time. This tree gave a lot of leaves but no fruit. So I suspect this is short on potassium, phosphorus, magnesium. Sorry for the moving of the camera. And we'll do this tree also. Go back to matter. Organic matter. Mind you, on my YouTube page, I do show images about how this whole landscape was nothing but desert. How rich that is. Wood chips. You cannot beat how they soften the soil and replace all the nutrients that were lacking in the soil. Now in the forest has been done for hundreds, thousands of years, so the soil like going into a forest and you see big trees and fresh organic matter growing, it's because the wood chips have changed the soil along with worms and other components and the micronutrients that's in that soil, the net or the web of the soil that connects the soil and all the plants to communicate with each other, how to take up uptake nutrients. Now, I'm a biology major, went to Ohio State, been in that Wilberforce, but for me to start using big words, and be honest with you, it's been so long since I've studied in that field, I wouldn't remember the family, the genus, names of these plants. 
without first, you know, reading. There's nothing wrong with learning. It's so appropriate. So that way, you stay abreast of when you're gardening. Deliciously. This is nice. So, let's move that away a little bit, and I'll put it back. Um, root from the tree, from the root ball that I placed in here when I planted this tree three years ago now. This tree is four years old. This is the mulberry tree, I think. No, it's not the mulberry tree. I'm mistaken. So I'm going to leave this open while I water it so I can get some of those nutrients down there near the root ball of the tree. So that since the sap is already rising, down to the next one. I should have done this week to, weeks ago to be honest with you. There's so much to do. Huh? And sometimes using outside help is a blessing if you can get someone you can trust to work in your garden or on your homestead or on your farm. Because there's so much crime happening. You know, see this? Sandy Kalichi soil. So I'm exposing some of the fine roots, roots from the root ball around the tree. I'm going to pour this right around there, and then I'll cover it up again. If I can show you. Yeah. If I can show you. I don't know if you can see that. You see the root material here? So I'm going to put the fertilizer all around here. And then I'm going to cover this back up with all the organic matter after I water it. And uh, give it some time. Hopefully we'll have our trees fruit this year. battery is 20 minutes long so I may be able to get some time out of it. I'll flood this with some water in a minute and, uh, and I'll do this with the rest of the trees. Well, okay, that's it for that. I got um, 16 more to do. I'm not going to have a video that long, um, but we'll do four for the record and then go from there. I love jazz. I do. I like contemporary gospel music. That's my first. Then jazz. And then I love country music also.
some of it. I don't know about all country music, but especially knowing that it came from the African American race, country music. No wonder my mother said I love this because she listened to it when she was pregnant with me in her womb. So that's how I learned to love country music. Now when I do my editing, because I'm the only one right now doing it, you know, make a little more scratch as they say, or money, I'll have an outside company arrange my uh, YouTube page in a better way. So if, if you see it in the raw, it's not like so-called professional, don't worry. Just look at the content and see if you can glean anything from what... Um, you see in the videos and photos. I gotta learn how to do voiceovers and so much to learn. I'm 67, but I want to learn. So we'll go from there. Yeah. So all these fine roots are still attached to this tree. They're uptake these nutrients and up in the tree. Trees have venous systems also, like humans bodies we have veins and capillaries so the trees Six percent of this nitrogen phosphate is water soluble, so it will uptake into the root system. And then I'll cover it back up with the needles and wood chips so that the continuous add. Now you see how dark the soil is? At one time it wasn't. Sorry for the camera movement. Sorry about the camera shake. Apologize for that. to show you what I'm using. You can get these at your local nursery. And you can see NPK and the six of um, nitrogen, four of uh, phosphorus, and four of potassium. That's what NPK stands for. There are other acronyms or digits that can go before or after that depending on what the uh, manufacturer has in the organic fertilizer. Too much. I'm in, I'm in Nevada. 
southern Nevada is that? Yeah. Yeah. Organic matter, which is mulch, which is good for the soil and the trees. Back where it was at. A lot to be said for people who you hire to do work in your property. You have to verify that they have a license and they're certified and they're capable of doing the job. I had a gardener come here and you see how short this is? I wouldn't have used this pipe. I don't know if you can see it. You see this? See how this flails away from the base of the tree? That's not what you want. So I'm going to have to go back and redo these lines. I know how to, but with back surgery, I try not to put myself in that position that much. So I'll have to run a line here with a different type of watering head that sprays out at the base of the tree. 